everybody. Everybody is looking for more distance, especially in today's game of the bomb and gouge. Hit it as far as you can, score as low as you can. So I want to give you three things today, and for those of you who are kind enough to watch the end of the video, I'll even give you a bonus fourth one that will let you hit it longer and straighter. So the very first one is called CFC, or center face contact. The closer you can hit the ball in the center of the club face, the more energy transfer and better energy transfer you're going to have coming into the ball. There was a study done a number of years ago uh, with the uh, Iron Byron, for uh, all those of you who don't know, that's a, that's a mechanical hitting machine, where they took a driver swing at 102 miles an hour on dead center and 105 miles an hour at a quarter inch off center, and guess which one of the two went longer? The one that hit a dead center went five yards longer than the one that was off center. So center face contact, absolutely number one. Second is uh, what's called a whip-like effect to some of you out there. Uh, others have heard it for other different terms, but it, what really happens is in a proper pivot, the body is trying to realign itself back to equilibrium, which it will always seek to do. So let me show you what I mean by that. I have a uh, line on the ground, of course, that illustrates my feet. I have this yellow line here that would illustrate my hips, and I have this orange one here that would illustrate my shoulders. At setup and address, all of those things are parallel or very close to one another, okay? As we make our back swing and our hips get to about 45 and our shoulders to about 90, all right, those have now become separated, okay? And our arms are back here in front of our chest. As we make our transition and our lower body starts to get out a little bit in front of our upper body, all right, the, what happens is the shoulders will try to realign themselves over the hips and the arms will try to get back in front of the shoulders. So when that happens and the, and the lower body starts to downswing, they go first. Now there's some torque going on in your body. The shoulders are gonna try to catch up. They're gonna go and then here comes the arms. They're coming and then the club head's coming last. So as that happens, there's a whip-like effect building all the way to the club head. So the, the better players have a better whip. It's not necessarily X factor. That is not what I'm saying or not a big proponent of the X factor. But what I am saying is as the body moves and you have about a 300 gram weight at the end of a stick that's about 30 to 36 inches that's anchoring you, your hand, the club back. As this moves one way, the club drops back behind you and then it has to play catch up. Now there's other forces and factors and everything else that happened in the swing, but what I'm saying is that as the body makes its pivot, the body tries to realign itself to where the hips, the shoulders, the hands and the club head are all in unison again. So as you finish, they're all together and they're all parallel again with the club pretty much straight in front of you, okay? As you transition, one's getting out in front of the other and they're all trying to play catch up to where they can be aligned again. So again, the body will seek equilibrium. The third thing is, and you can watch one of our other videos on this, how do you get more distance with the same swing speed uh, without changing clubs? And the simple answer is you have to decrease the loft sum. Okay, so so many people get into an early extension with their, with their spine and with their trail arm to where it extends and then the club shaft comes in vertical. So if the shaft's coming in vertical, the club's at maximum loft, okay? If you come in and you have a proper pivot and you're unwinding correctly and your hands are staying in front of your lead leg, okay, you just, you have it forward lean to the shaft, which means now you've de-lofted the club. So with the same swing speed, you're gonna hit the ball longer. Okay, so those are three things. One center face contact, two is the whip effect or the body trying to realign itself as it unwinds in the golf swing, three is forward shaft lean at impact, all right? Those three things will do great and tremendous things for your ability to hit the ball straighter and longer. Now, the last thing is, and this is the bonus, this is width in your golf swing, and width relates to how far your hands and the club head are getting are away from your body. So this would be a lot of width, this would not be much width at all. So the old adage was some of you golfers out there that was to keep your left arm straight. But if your trail arm extends some, it's going to pull your lead arm straight. Now I'm not saying it should pull you off the ball. What I am saying is as you make your backswing, there should be some degree of straightness to both your arms until the trail arm starts to fold, but you still keep your width. So the more room between your hands and your head at the top of the swing, the more width you're going to have coming down, which means you've increased the radius of your swing you have more leverage, you can hit the ball longer that way. So give those things a try. Let us know in the comments below how they worked for you. We'd love to hear it. Love to hear how it helped your game. And if you have some trouble, let us know anyway. We'd love to help you out in any way we can. Hey everybody, Pete here from the Golf Paradigm. Thanks for watching the video. You can check us out on Facebook, 
Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to watch more videos or subscribe, you can do it right here.